Hello everyone! I hope you're all doing okay. Thank you for joining this video today and let's do some paint by numbers today. So I want to talk about this paint by numbers that I've been working on for the last few months. Hi, if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining. My name is Laura and I make paint by numbers videos. So please hit the subscribe button to see more paint by numbers, tips and tricks or paint with me videos. All right, so today's video I will review this paint by numbers while working on the final, <laughs> final touch-ups that I wanted to do. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. As you already know from the title, is that this paint by numbers called Amsterdam is from Victoria's Moon. So Victoria's Moon is an English based company, which I thought would be great because I'm also based in the UK. However, I do think their paintings are shipped from China. So it did take, if I remember correctly, two to three weeks for it to arrive. It's not bad, but it's not super speedy. When it arrived, I did an unboxing video, so I can link that up here if you want to see how the packaging came. And it was okay, uh, there was no damage or anything, so I'm pretty pleased with that. And I started painting it. So, um, for those of you who've been following me, thank you. And we have um, completed this paint by numbers together. So I really enjoyed it. It was very different from the first paint by numbers that I did. Lots of small details, as you can see here in the houses. So, so yes, lots of small details in this paint by numbers, but I think that's also why the end result is so pretty and it was so much fun to do. Um, so the paint. The paint was um, pretty good actually. I swatched all the paints and again I have a video for that but sorry basically um, none this, these six numbers that you see on the left here one to six these, those are the ones that I most frequently used. None of them have I have completed and only number three is transparent if I remember correctly. So the orange one, no surprise there, I had to go over it again. But if you didn't know yet, orange is often a very difficult color with the pigments to make them opaque and not very transparent. So it's not very surprising that in this painting also uh, orange is the one that's most transparent. Um, but I used two or two, three layers and that solved the problem for me. And number one, the yellow one here inside, uh, it's dried up. But that's entirely my own fault for not closing the pot after I finished painting. I just left it open and the next day I found it and I was like, oh, oops, and it had dried up. Luckily by that point I had already painted all of it pretty much so nothing too major <laughs> coming from that but yes I know I was very lucky I shouldn't do it again okay for the brushes there's not that much to tell the standard uh, three brushes come with it um, they last I worked with them I think they're they're okay but everyone has their own preferences I did wish there was a a smaller brush with this kit um, because there's so many small details and fine stripes would have been nice to have an even smaller brush than the smallest that came with this kit um, but you can buy them easily at Amazon and we'll put a description in a link in the description if you want to um, buy those um, yeah that's it for the brushes 
All right, next thing I want to talk about is the reference sheet. So this was the first time I received a reference sheet and it definitely was needed for this paint by numbers. Uh, as you can see, I'm using it constantly. I have it like close to me so I can check the numbers, especially now with doing the touch up, but even before that, because the numbers are quite tiny or you can't, like you have sometimes, um, I think it's like the paint, this paint by numbers is like computer generated because you, sometimes you have numbers that are squares and areas that don't have a number in them or like it's like a very fine line and then you can find the number in the next area I hope you know what I mean um, so yeah definitely reference sheet was needed and I was glad they supplied one I didn't have to uh, make my own by doing some p um, pictures or even uh, scanning the thing so Definitely bonus, but also really needed for this paint by numbers. Oh, I just realized I forgot to mention at the beginning that if you're still watching, um, I'm not sponsored, you guys. <laughs> I know I'm positive, but I'm not sponsored, and it's my genuine opinion, um, which is I think is important to say because I'm really I'm not sponsored by this. I ordered it myself, and I'm just happy with the paint by numbers that and how it turned out. So yeah, just wanted to get that off my chest. <laughs> then let's talk about the canvas. So I talked about the areas and so on, but not the fabric. So I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is like a linen blend. It doesn't feel plasticky at all. And as a result, I did feel this needed gesso. I know I'm going to talk about gesso again, sorry, um, but I made some recent videos about it. Halfway through this painting I decided probably gesso would be good with it because I saw a lot of white spots in the black areas, mostly. So I ordered some gesso and for the last bit I applied gesso and I saw a huge difference in the white spots and the way the paint was laying on the fabric, on the canvas. So I would definitely recommend if you are new and starting a Victoria's Moon painting, uh, paint by numbers, I think, or I'm not sure, I've only tried <laughs> this paint by numbers, but I would suspect they all are the same fabric, right? So then definitely apply a layer of gesso first. Uh, this will help you use less paint, make it more pleasant and have no white spots, <laughs> which for me I think is, is, is the nicest thing. I made um, a video about what is gesso and the results, like I said before and after I applied gesso. So check those videos out if you want to see um, if you should use gesso with your paint by numbers canvas and I will put a link in the description as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this painting session or painting this paint by numbers canvas in general. I can't wait to start on my newest paint by numbers because I didn't want to have the same mistake that I did last time where I had to wait for my second paint by numbers for a few weeks because of the long shipping times and so on. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I ordered my new paint by numbers quite quickly and it's been waiting for me for a while. So I've been very uh, anxious and hoping to finish this one so I can start with the new one. And as you can see today, even the touch up and everything, I want to make it really nice. But on the other hand, it's taking a lot of time to find those missing spots that I still needed to paint. And it's taking me, like, I haven't finished you guys, I will <laughs> keep doing this um, even after I finish this video. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And 
hit the like button if you did, subscribe if you haven't, I really appreciate it and I love to hear from you guys um, that are also loving paint by numbers. I love how we can share with each other our uh, paint by numbers creations, tips and tricks throughout the world. Doesn't matter where you are right now, um, we can still share our love for paint by numbers. And I think that's awesome. So with that note, I would like to finish and see you again um, next time on Thursday with the Paint With Me session. Yeah, bye.